Welcome! Welcome! Welcome everyone! Welcome darling to a place that is for the people, by the people, including the people, orchids darling! <laughs> <laughs> for dummies, I am Foul Pal Darrell, and welcome to my indoor growth space. It's not much, but it's mine. In today's video, darling, I just want to share a couple of care tips to help you grow your orchids in water culture. A little better understanding what semi water culture is so if you're interested in growing orchids in water and not giving up on them because water culture still works stay tuned pal pal stay tuned Welcome on back to what is my indoor growth space. I never said it was much, but it is mine. So going through my orchid collection, I have 25 Phalaenopsis orchids growing in the method of water culture. And majority of them, they were starting to produce that white mold. It is now spring. So we have a lot of orchid maintenance to do that will keep down fungus, gnats, and white mold growing indoors by the method of water culture. So this is just a prelude to that. In the meantime, what I chose to do was give all of my Phalaenopsis orchids dry days. It has now been three dry days for them before they went dry I made sure that I fertilized them. So they are doing just fine, darling. They're doing just fine. I am now going to give them just regular warm rainwater. Water culture still water mound back, darling, where the proof is always going to be in the pudding. So the reason I was getting so much white mold, which it was just small, it wasn't like I had an infestation where it overtook the plant. I just noticed that majority of my orchids had it. And so upon a closer look, okay, a lot of them are starting to grow new leaves, okay? And so this is the time we're going to get new roots. So a lot of that decaying matter, okay, is the reason why so on the flower stalk or the base of the flower that is the reason why we are getting that snow mold. So we're going to get in there and get some tweezers and start removing all of that matter so those new roots have a good place to be. So when it comes to a dry day, anytime I see anything abnormal or declining in growth, I will give them a dry day. Well, fair pals, I hope that you have a happy growing that this made sense to you. Until next time.